Welcome to prefabricated structures. So we have seen the two modules, module 1 and module 2 of the prefabricated structures and in this video we are going with the third module of the prefabricated structures. So we can see this part of prefabricated structures. The third module is related to design principles. So how must be the design and all things? So what are the most important principles we have to consider when we are going to build a prefabricated structures? So in prefabricated structures, as we have already seen, there are some elements which are separated and casted means they are being manufactured separately and then they have brought at the site and we are going to fix them and a particular part of building or a whole building is ready for the habitants. So the most important design principle starts with the disuniting of structures. What do you mean by disuniting of structures is the first question for us. So let us see with the disuniting of the structures. Uh, many prefabrication structures such as elements of prefabricated are assembled or united or joined to form a single structure. So we have seen when we are preparing a truss or a shed, the separate angles, separate tubes are taken. Then we are cutting them with a required size, required length. Then we are going to fix them. So this type of disuniting is already prepared then we are going to bring them so then when we are assembling we are able to see that we have prepared a whole full part of a structure that is known as the single structure now what is the main problem so problem in prefabrication is transportation why this problem will be there the problem will be there if we are going to get that whole assembled single structure then there is a transportation problem. We are able to imagine that, see how it is if we are preparing a truss for a 10 feet by 10 feet without dismantling all the structures, all the angles, then we are fixing it, we are preparing it in a single structure and we are going to bring them and fix them. That time the transportation problem is there. So to avoid this problem of transportation, the structure is disunited or separated into smaller elements or elements only the separated elements so that the transportation becomes very easy and in the site they may be united or assembled clear in the whole assembly we can prepare it that particular thing we can do if we dismantle them so dismantle so this method of dismantling or separating into smaller member or elements is called as this unity of structures in prefabrication. So this is the definition of disuniting of the structures. What instead add a uh, more part we can include in the disuniting of structures. So using a large member as a beam or a girder, two or three small sections may be used. So we can see a steel structure, a channel is of a length of 13 meters. 13 meters carrying by a labors is not possible. We can make it into breaking into pieces. Then we can unite them into a single member. But the load carrying capacity of <coughs> single member should be also equal to the load carrying capacity of the smaller members. Then only the disunuting is taken and optimum into place. So this type of the things we have to take into account. Then only we can do the things into a proper way. So normal factories production done is very faster if we are making them smaller and smaller pieces. So regularly those pieces are taken into place. So when the regular pieces are taken into place that time we can see that the particular thing can be easily maintained and easily we are able to uh, take the elements to the site and we are able to fix them at the site. So this leads to disunity of the structures into members suitable for a plant free fabrication and for a shipping part. <coughs> what are the advantages of disuniting? Now why we are going to find some advantages? Why it is required? In prefabrication, the 
number of joints are reduced the number of joints are reduced failure at the joints is minimum means number of joints are to be reduced we should not make them more number of joints if we make more number of joints load taking cap uh, load carrying capacity will be very much less or we can say there will be nothing if we put a load then the joints are going to get uh, cracks or dismantling because if we are preparing a joints we need to understand that we have to prepare with the fixity or a arrangement such that a joint should not be able to be a joint it should be as a uniform or a one whole material <coughs> Failure is minimum at the joints. So, if we provide minimum number of joints, the particular failures will be less. So, as uh, beam and column is going to be joined. So, we can see if a monolithic more load is coming, the column and beam joint can get a crack. Now, that cannot be happening. If we are providing a joint, so joint is releasing that particular moment or load, whatever coming in the particular column and beam joints. Disuniting in a is suitable for a site prefabrication so so to prepare at a site it is very much easy so easily handling can be done that type transportation cost or many elements to the site is reduced now we can also see a big material if we are transporting a huge charges of the vehicles will be paid but if we are making into smaller smaller pieces and we are able to say that particular vehicle owner or a transportation part person that uh, small elements are there you can uh, take a uh, small charges so that uh, charges can be also reduced it means the uh, transportation cost of many elements to the site is very much reduced easy handling of a structures so a single person can easily handle by one one single elements that can be done for a easy handling of a structures scaffolding work is not at all necessary now we can see a big big structures are going to be raised or a beam is going to be raised or a column is going to be raised we require a scaffolding structures if we are going with the particular part of joining the elements if they are dismantled then that time the necessary scaffolding is not required because scaffolding costs around about 5% of the constructions sometimes if we are going for a one particular single structure in that way easy erection so erections can be done easily if we it is not correct we can dismantle and we can again join it that part of can be done and we can check also if the uh, erection is not correct that time the easy erections are taken place easy hosting process hosting process is a uh, cranes can be loading easily not a uh, big cranes are required or uh, not a heavy duty cranes are required a uh, light duty cranes can be easily maintained and easily uh, assemble the machine uh, elements at the particular point so that we can easily use a small amount of crane and the charges of that also are reduced in the part so these are some of the disadvantages uh, advantages and let us see the disadvantages are also there some of the disuniting we can't say some are advantages means there will be a good thing only there will not be any bad thing something are there which will be having some of the bad things also what is the bad things uh, the disadvantages of disuniting of structures is transportation of the frame from the plant is difficult so we can say a particular frame if we are not making too much joints we have to prepare some frame also so that part of frame cannot be able to uh, transport from a particular plant because we can see a small wooden frame of a door frame if we are taking the transportation takes very much uh, important because some joint may get dismantled some part may get cracked or it may get into two pieces that type of difficulties are there in a frame part also so this is one of the disadvantage transport cost is high for a transport of a entire frame so as mentioned if we are going to take a single structure so if we take a whole block so that time the transportation cost is more because the transportation person will be looking into the size not into the particular members or not into the weight what is the size that depending upon the size we are going to cost that particular transportation they are going to see so transportation cost is going to get high in this part of the things the stress distribution during lifting is a most important problem why means we are not locating at a particular moment or at a particular load where we have to carry that is carried by some other points if a unskilled person is there in part of the uh, particular sections or we can say in the section of the um, buildings 
or uh, that time we can say the unskilled labors of a cranes can make some joints or some part of lifting and all things that time the stress distribution may not be there and a structure may be into having a different loading pattern and it may have some cracks or also it may get into a two collapse parts number of joints will be more the most disadvantage is number of joints are more now every joint we have to connect for that so the design principles are says that it has to be reduced it has to be kept so in that way we need to design or we need to prepare a particular joints or a prepare a particular type of a frame and everything precise of a joining joints with the dimensions is needed so precise very much accurate the dimensions are required if we go with a small variations in the dimensions also that time we can see a huge amount of load taking capacity is also lost as well as there is a pores means we are going to provide a void which can be always going to have a problem in future if a seasons are changing that time we can have to provide a precise joints quality of material must be very high whatever the quality we are going to use it should be very much good strong durable and able to take more amount of load whatever the load is mentioned at that particular part of loads then only it can be very much easy it should have uh, have a minimum moment points so minimum moment points is what if we are going to take one particular loading uh, that time we can say somewhere we are putting it and some other part of the loads are going to be taken so the loads will try to rotate so the rotation of the loads is called as a moment now this moment the rotation of the load has to be maintained means there should be a very minimum point such that when we are hosting or when we are lifting the elements from a, a transportation vehicle to fix it at the site that time we have to understand what are the particular um, moments are going to take place so these moments are the most important and very much disadvantages if we don't go through them and it will be going to have a collapse or a cracks in the buildings or a particular frame or elements these are the disadvantages of disuniting of structures needs of disuniting of structures why is the needed the most important things those are having the advantages that will becomes as the needs but some more advantages are there as uh, easy transportation as a long span elements will be split into two important uh, small in, uh, into smaller members scaffolding is very much necessary not necessary now in this process design process becomes very simple because we are going to design a same part we will not be changing the section if a beam of a length of 50 meter is required if we make it into 2 25 meter 25 meter so if when we are designing it for 25 meter the same part we are going to design it for the another 25 meter so similarly the design processes becomes very simple easy and simple molding at the plants because the same frame whatever the same particular frame or form work we are preparing for one element the same uh, form work is utilized for preparing of 100 or 50 elements that time there is a molding plants so we are creating so less number of cost will be there for the molds or <coughs> form work can be utilized simple hosting machineries are required so simple hosting machineries are most important in this part if we are providing a disuniting of our structures otherwise we need to take a heavy heavy amount of uh, load taking uh, instruments or a machineries in this part if we are using a single structure the members will be of a less weight so the weight is very much less as compared to a single structure production stands process is in the stand system means continuous process is there so that we call it as a stand system so if a stand system is not there if we have to prepare one element we have to complete it we will be finishing then we will be going so that is not called as a continuous process so the continuous process this is called as a discontinuous process so that we can say it as a lagging system or we can say this as a disturbed system like that so this is a one of the production the production process is as a stand system continuity of a production will be very much easier so continuity the continuity takes into place so that takes the uh, dis uh, disuniting of a structures into a simple place that time we can say the dis continuity of a structures is very much uh, less and this particular sense so need to understand what is the disunity of a structures 
so these are the disunitizing of a structures means we are not making them more and more we are not making them less and less so simple the thing is whenever a material or a element has to be taken from a plant and has to be fixed at a particular plant uh, site we need to understand that the things are to be dismantled into different pieces or different elements then we can easily fix them at a particular site if a uh, load taking capacity is same and if the structures are not behaving as per the single structures or there may not be more cost so make it so economical that type of the things are there so these are the some needs of the disunitizing of structures and thank you see you in the next video